Hey everybody, Mark Davis in the immediate aftermath of our Thursday, August 7th, 2014 show. All kinds of things going on, scandals aplenty, war in the Middle East, immigration aplenty. Let's do some Ebola talk, shall we? Because I find myself amid some really interesting opinions about that. Let me tell you where I am, and then I'll tell you where a couple of people I respect are, and they're really different places. I, first of all, want to lay down as much prayer as I can for Kent Brantley and Nancy Wrightball, the two American doctors who have secured Ebola, who have contracted it, uh, and who now are back in America. We're going to get to the wisdom of bringing them back here in a second, but before we get to any of that, we should pray for their healing and for their well-being and for their health, and I'm absolutely doing so. So I step forward to say, you know, the more people tell me that there's nothing to worry about, the more it makes me worry. Uh, I don't feel like we absolutely know 1,000% of what's going on with regard to Ebola transmission. And I, I think there is an eagerness to bring them back, an eagerness to care for them uh, in Atlanta rather than in Monrovia, Liberia. I totally understand that. I feel the same eagerness. But are we absolutely sure that we've lowered as low as we can? I know there's no zero risk, but are we sure that there's no way this is going to, you know, spread at Emory, spread in Atlanta? I mean, I'm not suggesting a Stephen King novel's about to break out, but I'm a big fan of keeping risks at zero when we can, and we brought some risk into America by bringing these people back. We just did. And I, I want nothing but the best for them. There was an Atlanta surgeon interviewed who said, we can take doctors and technology to them and treat them there. Well, either he is wrong or we should have done that, quite frankly. So, But they're here and okay, and all I want to do is pray for their well-being. Now, so my talk show buddy Mike Gallagher, <laughs> we do a segment each, uh, just about every morning on the show that I do, and he found my view to, he said, I don't want to say it's un-American or un-Christian, it just sounds that way. Really? And, and Mike's point, and I think it's shared by many, is that here's an American citizen in need, and we absolutely must bring him back to America, both of them back to America, to give them the best treatment possible. Okay, I, I can say that sentence, but, but not if there is an appreciable risk to the rest of the country. And again, I'm not saying that I know that there is, but do you know that there's not? Now let's take this and juxtapose it with the Ann Coulter column of today, Thursday, in which she not only uh, cast aspersion on the fact that they're back, but cast aspersion on the fact that they went in the first place. The Ann Coulter point is, what, what, there's nothing for Christians to do in America? Why do they have to go to some far-flung backwater like Liberia when there are so many things that, that if people have Christian passions and healing and a gift of, uh, of Christian conversion and all these missionary-type things, uh, how about the inner cities of Chicago before we head to West Africa? Okay, that's a point you can make too. But being Ann Coulter, she then berates, absolutely scolds Dr. Brantley for having gone. I can't go there. I can't join her in that. And I like Ann. I like her work. And, you know, maybe this is just part of the see how many people I can turn off uh, kind of thing that she occasionally in, uh, engages in. And it was certainly compelling, and we had a, got a half a show out of it today. But the thing is, I'm not going to, I'm not going to scold other Christians for how they channel their Christ-like behavior. If there are two people in front of me and one of them is called to go into the inner city of Dallas to go to Oak Cliff and help at a community center, fantastic. If somebody else is called to go to some third world country to deal with the poorest of the poor, that's great too. And I'm not gonna suggest that one is better than the other. In fact, what I ultimately wanna tell you is we don't have to pick. This is not, it's a false choice. This is not a, a binary thing, switch on, switch off. It's not mutually exclusive. Let's get greedy. Let's have all the, the, the faith-based energy that we can have to care for the people in our own country and save souls in our own country and fight for morality in our own country. What, you think there's not enough God in all of us put together to do those things and care for people who are incredibly poor and incredibly sick in other lands? Silly me, I think we can do both. All right, here's something I can do. Invite you to our daily show. It is uh, Monday through Friday, 7 to 10 Central Time on 660 AM The Answer or 660 AM com. 7 to 10 uh, on uh, Monday through Thursday. Fridays, woohoo, five-hour marathon. Bill Bennett's Morning in America, 5 to 8 Central Time, then 8 to 10 The Local Show. That's a lot of radio, and I have a lot of gratitude to you for joining me for it. And go to Amazon and get Lone Star America, my humble book that says America would be a lot less screwed up if it were on like Texas. Enjoy. Thanks for watching and listening here on 660 AM The Answer.